Yo, what is cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Feeling it. We're getting it. We're doing this. Anyway, I haven't done a video of me reacting to your guys' hair in a really long time, so I really want to do it today, and it's going to be really awesome. Welcome to my, my new place. It's, it's really nice, huh? Like, this place is so dope. I like it. But I also like this place. And then I like this place too. But anyway, just trying some places out, you know, house hunting. <laughs> Anyway, the best way for me to look at your guys' hair and to react to it or respond to it is by checking them out on my Instagram page. So if you're not already following me on my Instagram, make sure to go follow me, Gunther the Great, and we're just gonna get the show rolling. But yeah, like I said, make sure to go follow my Instagram page. I really believe that Instagram is like the easiest way for me to actually communicate to you guys. I get so many messages and I really do appreciate everyone reaching out to me. It means a lot to me. But today, ought to be really interesting. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> Y'all don't have to thumbs it up if you don't want to. So first and foremost, let's address something. A lot of people are mad at me for standing on my shoes like this. Like, what are shoes for? What do you expect me to do? You expect me to like, some people. But I wanna see your guys' comments down below. What do you think about expensive shoes? Which, I mean, Jordans, are, these were only like, I think 120 bucks. It's not a bunch of money, if that. Like, even if it was 120. But it's like, they're shoes. That's what they're meant for. They're meant to be worn. Anyways, I'll let y'all discuss that in the comment section. Let's get straight into this. I'm gonna look at my followers and then if I can't really see anybody who has cool hair, which I expect all of you guys to have really cool hair anyway, I'm gonna go into my DMs and then look through there because people always send me pictures of their hair. So we're gonna take a look. And y'all, I was just really like, you know, I just kind of woke up. I just finished reading and like kind of just keep being inspired by other people's videos, which that's why I'm just so grateful for YouTube. Just real quick, so grateful. Cause you could just watch people's videos and people are so interesting and so smart and so cool. So uh, hopefully you think that way about me because I think that about a lot of you guys. So thanks. Let's go to my followers. Now I'm gonna try to search my best. It seems like people always have their profile picture to be like XXX and or Nipsey Hussle or something. Like dude, just have a profile picture of yourself. It makes it a whole lot easier. First one we're looking at is some curly hair right here. This is like some really nice curls right here. I would say his hair is probably a 3C or a 4A, but his hair texture is almost the same as mine, which is always interesting. I'm always like, I'm super grateful for my hair texture and my hair type, just because, you know, obviously I'm super light, but yes, my, my dad is black and mom is white, but I'm super stoked and super happy that I actually got, you know, hair that kind of comes from my dad's side. And yeah, I'm just, Grateful. Not saying that straight hair or less curly hair is not as good. I'm just saying that I personally myself prefer my hair to be the way that it is because my brothers don't have that, which is really awesome. Not that they don't have it, but that I have it. So, but this dude has some really nice hair. It looks like he takes care of it and it looks super, I don't know if you can say maintained, but yeah, we can't say maintained. I usually use that word for dreadlocks, but I would say the best word for curls, if they're looking good, is just juicy, like juicy hair. It's good. Nice hair, Aaron. If you guys know me, one of my favorite things is to actually look at people that have straight hair dreadlocks. So let's get into this. And this guy has really nice straight hair dreadlocks. Um, interesting style. And I see that he's very bold and very comfortable with how his hair is. And that's how it should be. If you have a hairstyle, be bold about it. One thing that I'm trying to get better at and be good at is doing a new hairstyle or trying something new with my hair and then people bombard me and like oh your hair's so cool oh look, oh i like that hairstyle looking good brother or something like that and i'm just like i just i didn't want all this attention but i'm really trying to get better at you know accepting the attention and just rolling with it and riding that wave of attention but really nice locks very maintained i'm pretty sure he likes it how it is i know um a lot of you are probably looking at it like oh it's frizzy or um the roots are very loose you can easily fix that with crochet needling and it would look super maintained. This is actually really awesome. This is the process. So this is how his hair was before, probably like a 2A and then did the separation. This is exactly the process you'd wanna do if you have straight hair and wanna get dreads. Got the separation, then got into doing crochet needling and that's his hair. And you can see how right here, a lot of people are like, oh, people with straight hair dreadlocks, they look like they just don't look good and then Dude, you just gotta give them some time because look at look at how they turned out. Like these are looking really good and I'm stoked on these. Yeah, so my boy Rain, I think it says or it's probably Ryan. Hey, either way, dope way of spelling however your name is pronounced. I'm digging your hair and I'm sure he is. He looks very comfortable in his hair. And they're looking good. And they are a high top, which is personally my favorite set of dreads. Oh, Ryan into some really good curly looking hair, so this is what I like to see. Like, I just enjoy the way this hair looks, especially the color. And I'm sure there is some color of some sort in there. 
So this probably isn't like the natural hair color, if we can be honest. So here's like a little transformation. And yeah, it does look like it, the hair is lighter and that there is some highlights, but sheesh, those are some like nice curls. I think it just looks like really good right there, like really good hair. And it just looks like this is like the natural hair. It doesn't look like there's any products in right here. And me personally, I'm not gonna lie, when I don't have products in my hair, for some odd reason, I like the way my hair feels and looks when there's no products in it. A lot of people don't agree with that. Some people think your hair has to be like silky smooth and like really shiny and all kinds of looking good and I don't know, whatever they describe good to look like or whatever. But I personally almost like my hair being dry and maybe just cause I had dreadlocks for so, such a long time that I just like the dry look and the natural look versus, you know, all the shine and all the, you know, juiciness, if you could put it that way. <laughs> We've used it before. Yeah, these look great. Her hair texture is probably a 3B. Looks really good. Um, very long, very puffy. A lot of people, like one thing that people always describe like an afro or curly hair is, if, if they don't have curly hair or if they don't have an afro, they're always like, oh, your hair's so fluffy. Your hair's so soft. And it's like, don't call me fluffy. Right. So scrolling down, one thing I got into is actually uh, not box braids, but well, what are these like crochet? No, they're not crochet braids. These are, yeah, these are just box braids with added in hair. One thing that I wouldn't say bugs me, but at the same time kind of bugs me. I would say there's girls out there that will wear their hair and this kind of hairstyle, which there's nothing wrong with it. I actually like the way it looks, but in my opinion, like if you're always wearing this hairstyle or you always have added in hair to your hair, added in hair to, <laughs> see how confusing it can get just even saying it. But if you always feel the need to have extra hair added into your hair, like learn how to be comfortable with the way your hair looks. And there's, like I said, there's nothing wrong with adding in hair, but learn to be comfortable with how your hair looks the way it is now. And if you're comfortable with the way your hair looks now and you just want to try something new like this, for instance, and try the braids and do all kinds of stuff like that, then try it. But don't don't do this if you're like uncomfortable with the way you look and stuff like that, because I don't think life advice right here. I don't think there should be anything you can add to you to make you feel more comfortable with yourself. Like you have to learn how to be comfortable with yourself and then start doing additions and all kinds of stuff like that. It just makes life a whole lot easier and simpler. But what I was saying is like, it just bugs me when I see girls saying like they're doing a protective hairstyle with, you know, adding in like these braids or whatever. I don't, what do they call them? Like, they're not crochet braids, but crochet braids are the same thing. I think crochet braids is actually more destructive than this. Um, just because like, if you're doing that constantly, you have all this tension on the scalp, your hair is in cornrows under all that, you know, luscious looking hair that's not even yours. And yo, a lot of people are yeah, getting mad at me right now. But anyway, if you keep on doing that, I feel like you're just destroying your scalp. You're not allowing your hair to grow. And to tell you the truth, it's not a protective hairstyle if you keep on like putting so much tension on your scalp. I don't know who keeps telling you that that's protecting you. I feel like it's more destructive than anything. A lot of y'all are probably gonna be cheesed or mad at me in the comment section, but that's the way I feel about it, is if you're constantly doing this and not appreciative of your own hair, I don't think you'll ever be appreciative of your hair if you don't learn how to appreciate it now. So that's the big lesson out of the whole spilly. I want this video to be so diverse. I found this lady who has like really cool pink hair. Um, just normal pink hair. I mean, guess not normal, but this is dope. And a sleeping dog on the story. Just what I needed this morning. But I think the biggest thing I like to see is just people being bold and at the same time being comfortable with their boldness. And I think those balance out. Uh oh, we hit the jackpot. This dude has some really dope hair. We're gonna go through a little throwback right here. And uh, some long, I would say probably, what is that? Like maybe a 2C hair type, maybe 3A. Maybe not that tight, but. This is the picture that I saw that was really cool. His hair's really long, really curly. I think this is like a cool hair texture to have at this hair length. Just because it looks super full, it can look really long and full at the same time without it being actually that long, if you know what I'm saying. Because I know with tighter curl patterns, if your hair is long, it's gonna look full no matter what because it's such a tight curl pattern. But at the same time, with it being so tight, your hair has to be extra long in order for it to actually look long and full at the same time. But not gonna lie, really cool hair. One thing that I'm really stoked on and I think it's really interesting is seeing all the new people just, you know, their natural, golly, I swiped off the followers. Now I gotta go and figure out where my placement was. Anyway, one thing that I find that's really interesting, especially with all my new followers, shout out to all y'all. Yeah, it's y'all. 
I love you. But one thing that I found out about all of the new people is that they have just their natural curly hair. And it's cool to see that actually people are enjoying the videos and have curly hair along with me. And they think it's interesting. And I'm glad you guys do. It means a lot to me. Love you guys to death. Hey, but everyone out there who has like a famous rapper as their profile picture, kind of doubt. It makes it hard to figure out who you are. Ugh, all these people who have like a really cool profile pic and then it's like, they either don't have any posts or their account is private. And I'm just like, dude. But believe it or not, a lot of the times I'll see people with really cool profile pics with nice hair and their stuff's on private. I totally understand that. But at the same time, oh snap, Axie uh, Xentacion's follow me for the 200th time. All right, so man right here has some dope dreads. Let's take a look. This dude looks really familiar. Hold up. But this dude has some dope dreads nonetheless. I don't know, really. He looks familiar to me, but um, he just told me to show the dreads. So, all right, so I don't know who this dude is, but um, someone sent me a story and looks like this dude's starting dreads, whoever cha -pa 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 is. <laughs> looks like some sort of artist. All right, you guys, while we're at it, went to the explore page, and if you guys don't know, Jimmy Got Soul actually dyed all of her dreads blonde, which really interesting, really dope. But hey, go check out her channel and uh, go show her some love because he drops a bunch of dread content and she's hilarious. I think this is my boy Poppy Blasted. Yeah, PB the goat. This dude's so dope. Go subscribe to him as well. Yeah, I just want to show you guys one more thing. Actually, if you go to my Great Locks Instagram page, I shared this one kid's picture, and this dude has the dopest dreads in the world. And I'm just like, dude, you're so young. Anyway, this kid plays soccer, and his dreads are just so nice. Especially that color. Like, I think that's like an auburn or whatever you want to call it. It's like almost red. It's like reddish brown. But sheesh, that's like a nice color, especially with the dreads. Come on. That, that's so dope right there. His hair is super long, too. I feel like kids hair just grows so quick if you let it but you can go check out the great locks instagram page as well and drop in actually a sub reaction on that channel as well and it's going to be dropping really soon but you guys hopefully enjoyed today's video i had a good time reacting to your guys's dread <laughs> not even dreads anymore but right reacting to both dreadlocks curly hair waves whatever you want to do because i really believe that this channel is not only just about dreadlocks which at one point kind of was and it's not just about curly hair but i feel like it's just about i feel like your hair is just tied so much into your lifestyle it's where i feel like this is mostly just a lifestyle channel because you can just tie so much into your hair not literally but figuratively i would say tie your hair into so many different things rather just because hair is a big part of your life a big part of how you represent yourself outside of your clothes and your hygiene and everything like that if y'all agree comment that down below do y'all agree that your hair is a part of your lifestyle but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the hairstyles today and who it was all featured comment down your favorite but on that i'll see you guys next time hopefully you guys do have an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out and god bless